who is the more social class? The rich, such as we can see here, or the poor? It seems as if society has already made, made up its mind. The rich are more selfish. And sometimes, indeed, they do behave more selfish. For example, in traffic, it could be that more expensive cars uh, drive faster because it is easier for a rich person to pay a fine. Likewise, it is more lucrative for a rich household to try to evade taxes because there's more money at stake. So, but these are all instances of differences in behavior. A more interesting question, however, is what are differences in social preferences? Are the norms and values of rich poor, uh, households and poor households fundamentally different? And this is something that we have studied by means of a field experiment. Temporarily, we changed our jobs as economists for a job as a mailman. And what we did is we misdelivered transparent envelopes with cash, 20 euros or 5 euros, but also with uh, transparent en envelopes without cash. And always there was a message from a grandfather to his grandson. What we did is we measured how many of these envelopes came back from rich households and from poor households. Our results showed that the rich households returned way more envelopes than the poor. 80% return rate of the rich compared to roughly 40% of the poor. And moreover, the poor returned only 25% of the envelopes that contain cash. So at first sight, it seems as if the rich in this case are the more pro-social class. They return way more. However, the comparison is not really fair. Uh, there are two things that are really different between the rich and the poor. One obvious thing, the money in the envelopes is worth more for the poor than for the rich. So we need to control for that. But we do that by looking at the envelopes without cash. And even there we find that the poor do not return as much. However, here again, the comparison between the rich and the poor is not fair because there is financial stress that hits mainly the poor. And this stress hinders them in doing everyday tasks. So what we find in our data is that the poor return more envelopes without cash in the week in which they get paid. And then when the weeks progress, they return less and less and less and less until they are hit again with a new income shock. So they get their unemployment benefit or their wage. And their return rates go up and so on and so on and, and so on. If we can correct for this in our data by doing a theoretical model, then we come at, what we, at the core of social preferences, the norms and the values. And what we find is then that there are no differences in preferences between the rich and the poor. So if we look at behavior, we find huge differences, but if we dig a little bit deeper and we come at the core, the preferences, then all these differences disappear. And we conclude that all people are just the same.